Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Dental researchers have established the effectiveness of several types of topical fluoride agents that will reduce the incidence of dental caries. Sodium fluoride, stannous fluoride, and acidulated phosphate fluoride are the most common. For patients who have a history of dental caries, especially those living in areas where the water contains less than one part per million, the topical application of fluoride is recommended at regular intervals depending on the fluoride agent to be used. The treatment is expected to reduce the caries attack rate by approximately 35 percent. However, this value will vary depending on the age of the patient, dietary, and oral hygiene habits. The following presentation will demonstrate two techniques for the topical application of 1.23 percent acidulated phosphate fluoride, which has been recommended by the University of Michigan School of Dentistry Subcommittee on Preventive Dentistry. Acidulated phosphate fluoride has been selected because it has a long shelf life. It can be applied to the teeth in the liquid or gel form. It can be flavored and it does not stain the teeth. The two techniques differ on the basis of the method of isolation of the dental arches during treatment and the use of the liquid or the gel form. The tray technique, which will be demonstrated first, is indicated for those patients for whom the various tray sizes will fit and who can tolerate this full mouth procedure. The second or alternate technique utilizes cotton roll holders and is, isolate, is indicated for small children, patients with unusual dental arch formation, and for patients who tend to gag. Two opposing quadrants are isolated at one time and then the procedure is repeated on the opposite side. Single quadrants may be isolated also by this technique and is most helpful for the patient who tends to gag. The patient is scheduled for topical fluoride treatment by assignment from an instructor. This assignment would typically occur at the completion of oral prophylaxis or restorative procedures. However, the treatment may be scheduled at other, at other times depending on the patient's caries attack rate or by departmental policy. In all instances, the treatment should not begin until a complete oral prophylaxis has been completed and checked by the instructor. Going from right to left, the setup for the tray technique includes three progressively smaller sizes of trays and their corresponding inserts for placement in the patient's oral cavity. The bottle contains 1.23 percent acidulated phosphate fluoride gel and a timer for the technique. The tray is selected to fit the patient's upper and lower arches in a comfortable manner allowing for displacement of the tongue towards the center of the mouth and freedom for the tray to fit along the mucobuccal fold on the right and left sides. The insert is then placed in the tray and the polystyrene insert is then flooded with the fluoride gel. Teeth are then air dried in all four quadrants 
in preparation for placement of the tray and its insert, which contains the topical fluoride gel. After the trays have been placed, a saliva ejector is placed between the two trays and the patient is encouraged to slowly masticate the trays against each other from side to side. The procedure is timed for four minutes. When four minutes have elapsed, the assembled tray and inserts are removed from the patient's mouth and the oral cavity is cleared of excess fluoride and saliva with suction. The patient is then instructed not to eat or drink or brush her teeth for 30 minutes. The alternate isolation technique for topical fluoride application is the utilization of topical of cotton roll holders. Going from right to left are three progressively smaller sized cotton roll holders. The one on the far left is for the very small or preschool child and cotton rolls have been inserted in the holder preparatory to placing in the patient's mouth. Other items on the setup for the cotton roll holder method are cotton rolls of various lengths, cotton tip applicators, the fluoride liquid, a timer, and unwaxed floss. Not previously mentioned is the point that an acid flavored prophylaxis paste is required prior to the use of acidulated phosphate fluoride. Prior to beginning the cotton roll technique, a cotton roll holder is selected and adapted into the patient's mouth for comfort and uh, ease of placement of the cotton rolls. A long cotton roll is placed towards the mucal buccal fold to isolate both the maxillary and mandibular arches on one side. It is then trimmed approximately at a 45 degree angle to meet the midline. The shorter cotton roll on the lingual is placed between the tongue and the lingual surfaces of the teeth on that side. cotton roll holder is fastened under the chin to stabilize the apparatus. And the long cotton roll is tucked into the mucal buccal fold. The teeth will be air dried just prior to the application of the topical fluoride agent. Either the liquid or the gel form may be applied. Just before the agent is placed on the teeth, the timer is begun. For the smaller child, or the patient who has difficulty with gagging, this method can be used to isolate one quadrant at a time.
the saliva ejector is placed and the patient's teeth on that side are kept wet with the fluoride solution for the remainder of the four minutes timing. Also, the contacts should be flossed, if possible, with unwaxed floss in order to distribute the fluoride solution into the contact areas. This graphic demonstration illustrates how the cotton roll holder holds the lingual cotton roll in such a position as to isolate the tongue from the lingual surfaces of the teeth. This illustration presents the buccal cotton roll isolating the buccal surfaces of the teeth from the inner cheek. Dentition should be kept with wet with the fluoride solution for the four minute interval. Upon completion of the four minute interval, the saliva ejector is removed from the oral cavity as is the cotton roll apparatus. The oral cavity is then suctioned to remove excess fluoride and saliva. A cotton roll holder is then selected and the procedure repeated on the opposite side for the four minute interval uh, for that method of isolation. We have seen two methods for the isolation of the oral cavity for topical fluoride application using 1.23% acidulated phosphate fluoride. It should be remembered that upon completion of either method that the patient be instructed not to eat food, drink liquids, or brush their teeth for at least 30 minutes. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.